Welcome back to Master Glass. I am Livio, and uh, I was asked recently by one of my friends, who's also a colleague, uh, to review a video uh, from one of the other um, content creators in the space, Tipsy Bartender, super a successful channel. So I'm going to check it out, review, and see what I think. Got my shark. Got my grenadine. Oh boy, this the best drink ever. That's okay, so the context, I don't know what it is here because it starts automatically with grenadine being poured inside of a rubber shark. Uh, so we'll see what it actually, um, why it's themed, uh, but it's definitely an attention grabber. I'll give it Put enough grenadine, right? Now you come behind, we got a little apple schnapps here, but this 50% alcohol, this is no joke. And now we can just shove this in the mouth. Oh, okay. So he took 50% alcohol schnapps and put it inside of the mouth of the shark, but it doesn't matter that it's 50% because the bottle is capped. So it's just basically, I guess, being used as a plug. Um, it could have been any product. Okay, let's make the drink. Ice. And guys, we're gonna get a little gummy shark in here. These are sharks. Put one down there. Come behind with a little lime slice, you know what I mean? This is the ocean. A lot of stuff down there, you know what I mean? We're gonna get some plastic. Again, he's, I, I don't know the context, so he's adding gummy sharks inside of the glass, which they're too big to actually kind of swallow so when you get to the gummy shark you're going to be chewing a whole lot and drinking at the same time um, but again i don't know if something's coming that will explain why this is happening uh, but he's dumping a bunch of stuff also he threw a fresh lime in the glass which is great uh, but then he coupled it with gummy sharks which is artificial so i'm getting a little mixed messages here let's see <laughs> Ought to really be the ocean. Some microplastics. Y'all trying to go too real, okay? He's too definitely real. got Leave a the great microplastics out. <laughs> I ain't gonna overdo it with the sharks. I can go in with about three. They look good. I love these sharks. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we come in with some tequila, okay? A little touch of Mexico. This is the Gulf of Mexico, guys, okay? Is that enough? Okay, so now he's pouring the tequila directly over, into the glass over the ice gummy bears and lime. I don't know where he's going with it, but I feel like this drink is going to need to be shaken and he's um, just building it, but let's see. Tequila? Yeah. You think so? Too much, I hate tequila. Really? Well, that's why I can pour a little bit so you don't drink that. Okay, <laughs> the thing about, don't share guys. If you don't got to share, don't share, let him get it. Yeah, like I said, he's very engaging. His personality is pretty fun. And, and uh, as they're giving it to him, he's giving it right back, which uh, is, is, is fun. And it's probably why he has 6 million followers at this point. Oh, okay, inflation. <laughs> <laughs> now we come in behind now with some triple sec, which is an orange liqueur, which is why you see oranges on there. A little triple sec, you know, a little flavoring. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the triple sec he just added in is a bottle I cannot even recognize the brand. So um, I was kind of already out at the gummy bears, but I'm definitely out now. This wouldn't be a drink I would be drinking, but I'll be happy to give my input and see how I can fix it. So now I'm hitting this with a little bit of sweet and sour. All you guys in Europe that watch us well, if you live someplace where they don't have sweet and sour, you can make this at home, okay? Easy to make. I'm coming behind. Okay, sweet and sour can't, went in uh, in percentage to how much tequila he put in this drink. Um, that sour mix ratio is way too short. So the sour mix, which of course is just lemon and sugar, by the way, it's it's a green color, so obviously very artificial. But the amount of that he put in there isn't enough to actually... Uh, subdue the dominant flavor of the tequila uh, and its alcohol strength at this point. So I would have definitely, I wouldn't be making the drink this way anyway, but if I would be, I would definitely have added much more sour mix so that it can actually show up in the cocktail. 
Uh, with my boy here, a little bit of Sprite. Lemon lime soda. Now guys, I know you all saying, hey, this don't look like the ocean. Well, not yet it does. You know, watch the levels, guys. Because remember now, the ocean's supposed to be blue. So you don't want, you don't want your base too yellow. Wow, uh, just a full can of Sprite went inside of this drink. So in addition to all the ingredients, uh, the tequila, the triple sec, the sour mix, the gummy bears, there's a full can of Sprite. Um, I'm wondering if this is a share bowl. Because it's yellow and blue make green, okay? Unless you want a murky ocean. But now we're coming in with some Island Punch Puck, okay? And this is sweet and sour schnapps. If you can't find Island Punch Puck, because it's kind of hard to find, any blue thing will do, okay? Okay, any blue thing will do. Um, okay. I'm excited to let you know that on MasterYourGlass.com, we've launched our Spirits 101 Academy, jam-packed with information, 10 lessons, one hour and 40 minutes long. Now, it's already heavily discounted, but if you enter the code MYG Spirits, you'll get even a bigger discount. All right, while you're there, you can find this shirt, but let's get back to the video. So, uh, not any blue thing should do in a cocktail. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Not a blue vodka, but okay. So we get the blue all around, right? Oceanish. Oceanish, right? Now we coming in with my boy, Mr. Blue Curacao. This is also an orange liquor, liqueur, like triple set. But this is bluer and I can go to the bottom, you know, because this heavy, this is more dense. So I can just do a little light pour because I know Ooh. it's dropping down, you see? The ocean. So you get a nice little ocean look. I have okay, so he added the Blue Island Pucker because it was lighter to the top of the drink so that he could make the top of the drink blue. And then he added Blue Curacao after it because it's denser to make the bottom of the drink blue so that it looks like the ocean uh, just using the blue curacao which i feel would have been f uh, good enough for this drink and mixing the drink popular uh, properly would have made the whole drink blue in the same way um, but let's keep I on had going the shark on. held up in the glass like this so now it's the moment of the shark I gonna rest my shark on there. Now remember, this shark is biting a person that happened to be a liquor bottle. So when I put this down, there should be a little bit of grenadine leakage. Okay? Ooh, you see that little shark that. attack? You see that little shark? That looks so dope. Yeah, so boy. Okay, I love that. And there you have it, the shark attack margarita bowl. God, I love that drip. That yeah, drip is drip perfect, too. okay? This was good. And we got our sharks on Amazon, okay? Thank you, Jeff Bezos. Good looking out. We get everything from you. Yeah, yeah, you bleed a long time. Alrighty. Um, so the shark actually was just placed on top of the drink, and it is basically bleeding. Uh, it's grenadine that is leaching into the drink, so it's basically the blood in the shark attack. Um, grenadine is a super sweet uh, syrup. Uh, again, more high fructose corn syrup, not that there wasn't already enough inside of the drink. And um, it's basically making this very sweet drink even more sweet. And I feel that's uh, between you and I, just kind of an unnecessary gimmick i get it it removes all the excitement but i think the excitement should come from or could come from uh just making the drink really good uh the drink is blue so it's vibrant it's got a cool color it didn't need nine more gimmicks including sharks floating on the bottom and um you know uh blood leaching on the top from grenadine a uh, few seconds left let me see if there's anything else here to comment about all right, fun little outro there. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, I, I wish I would have started with a challenge that was a little more easy um, because I feel like there's not much I can take from this drink uh, to, uh, I don't know, uh, 
improve it. It's not like I can take one thing and say, hey, if we change this with this, it's going to be better. No, I think we need to gut the whole thing, um, kind of like we do with casinos here in Vegas where we implode them and then we rebuild a new one. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so time to fix it at least the way I would. Um, I'm eliminating a lot of ingredients, but the flavors that were introduced in that drink, I'm gonna kind of keep them the same. Let's go ahead and add ice into this glass. I'm still using a, a big glass here, but I'm eliminating the bowl because I really don't have one, by the way, uh, but also because I wanna keep this drink a little bit of an upgraded version of what was made there. I'll set that right here. I got my shaker, I got my glass. So in the tin, I'm gonna go ahead and add just the ice, get this going. Okay, now I'm gonna double it up. I'm gonna make a double because that was intended to be probably a shared drink. So I'm gonna start with a really good tequila, 100% agave. Here I have El Tesoro Blanco. It's gonna be nice and peppery and citrusy. Gonna be very nice. I would put one and a half ounces inside of this drink, but since we're making two, it's gonna become three ounces. Just like that. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is one ounce per so two ounces of orange curacao. Now this is the genuine curacao liqueur made with La Raja uh, oranges that are bitter and sweet. Uh, this is going to taste like real orange curacao does. And let's go ahead and add two ounces in here. Just like that. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and put just like that right here, right here. I'm gonna put the juice. Okay, I'm gonna put the juice of two limes in here. Just like that, fresh limes. There we go. One. There's two. Okay. Now in it, he had added seven, or Sprite, I should say. And so in this case here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add, and he also had added, by the way, sweet and sour. I'm just gonna add in this one a fresh sour that I made with equal parts of lemon juice and simple syrup. And I'm gonna see about as much as I can put in here without letting the shaker overflow. About three ounces, so one and a half per, and again, I'll put this in the description. Now, one of the cool things I can do now is I can give this a quick stir, I can straw test. Oh yeah, baby. And here we go. Give this a nice shake. Let those flavors combine together, nice and cool. Crack this bad boy open. Listen to that nice little sizzle of the shaker, or of the liquid. Let's go ahead and pour this right on top. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to just want to see what the ice situation here is. Maybe a couple more cubes will do me. Let's start with one and two. Right. And then honestly, um, I don't know about the whole shark and all of that. I'm going to, I guess, use my gimmick time on the garnish being that everything else here so far is kind of legit. I'm going to take just a pressed, you know, one of the hollowed shells 
of the lime. I'm just gonna throw it there. That's the little island, I guess, where this shark supposedly was to attack. On top of it, all very improvising here, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a cherry. Um, I do have a mint top here. I may or may not like it. Let me put it in first and tell you what I think. Yeah, I kind of like it, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead, because it's a shared drink, I'm gonna put one straw here and one straw there. And last but not least, I wanna make sure, oh, that garnish actually looks really neat. Okay, now there you have it. Now, keep the rubber shark out of the margarita is what this uh, margarita is called here. And what I'm going to do is, because I really don't have a shark to attack, I found a picture of my favorite shark scene, which is in Finding Nemo. And you could see the shark is right there and Dory and Nemo are scared uh, as they run away. So I'm gonna drink this very fresh, beautiful, delicious blue curacao uh, margarita while I look at Finding Nemo and the shark. Oh yeah, nice, fresh, citrusy, delicious. I find that that's the way to fix it. Now, if you have tried the drink that Tipsy did, please comment below. I'd love to know your feedback. I'd love to know if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, if that's your style. And also, if you end up trying this one right here, also please do comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.